happening, tabletop gamers? My name is Lunar May, and welcome to Lunar May Unboxes. Today, we're looking at an expansion for the two to four player dice placement game Sagrada Passion by Daryl Andrews and Adrian Animescu and published by Floodgate. As I said, this is an expansion, meaning you will need the base game to use it. Sagrada Expansion introduces new challenges to test your artisanal abilities. Apparently there's a new set of cards here, rare glass dice, and some new private and public objective cards. So, with all that said, let's see what this little box has to offer. Hopefully I managed to cut through that, right? Yes, I did. Thank you. To be honest, I was actually thinking about just skipping this portion and going right into it, but I figured then you wouldn't think I actually was doing the unboxing. Anyways, let's see here. Alright, so we got a little bit of an overview here. Probably explains what everything does. Yes, it does. Even if it has a little bit of a setup here. Very nice. Explains what everything does, seemingly. Okay, then. It's got some new glass dice. Supposedly rare glass dice. Very nice quality, I suppose. Though I think I would have made the pips on the dice a darker color, because I feel like Depending on who you are, that might be a bit hard to see. Okay, and here we got the symmetry cards, I believe. Let's go ahead and pop these bad boys open here. See if I can actually get a hold of these. Let's see here. Is there like a thing where I can like just grab? I have to rip open? No? I'm going to have to just rip it open like a cannibal? Alright, give me a second. Alright, I got it open. Let's have a look-see here. So these are the new uh, balance and symmetry cards. Basically, they're going to be another way to allow you to get points. Very interesting. And these are the inspiration cards, which apparently you can actually gather these and they'll give you a new ability that you can and have for the rest of the game. Very interesting. And these are the private objectives. Definitely something a lot more unique than, than before. Whereas the other ones, usually if they were just, you know, having them in a set and just like a, the most of one color, or the highest value of one color rather, this one you actually are trying to perform something. Definitely a lot more unique. I definitely like the look at that. And lastly here, it looks like at least, we've got some of the, uh, what is this exactly again? All right, hey, give me a second. What was this again? Oh, these are the these are the, the rare glass boards. So basically, what these are are ways to allow the players to have rare glass dice and put them on their windows. Let's have a look. See, very interesting. So these are like different ways that you can actually put the glass dice on. Very unique. Hey, very unique. Something I don't think I've seen yet. Oh, there's actually a spot. I have to punch the holes out here. Okay. Well, so I'm assuming this is where you're going to end up pu uh, putting all the rare glass dice at some point. All right. Well, I gotta say, in terms of quality, the components are definitely good. Dice, like I said, pretty good quality. I think that they look really pretty. In fact, actually, I just noticed that they actually have a bit of glitter on them a little bit. Uh, like I said, though, I think I would have made the pips maybe a darker color just to make it a bit easier to see in case somebody I play it is, it is colorblind. The boards as well, very nice quality. Nice thick boards, not going to bend as easily. So that's nice. And it seems like that's everything you'll get if you obtain Sagrada Passion. With all that said, thank you all as always so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That means a lot to me. If you want to know my opinions on this expansion, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my review. And I will see you all in the next video. But until next time, see you guys later.